Hi everyone, Nigel Saunders here. I'm here in the plant room and I'm busy getting it ready to bring all the tropical trees indoors for the winter. Over by the door of the plant room, I've set my rain barrel up here. It's full of rainwater. So that's set for the winter. So I, I refill it throughout the winter. If there's a thaw in the winter, I catch all the drips, the snow melting on the roof, and I keep it topped up. In the past, I've always moved my tables from the plant room back outside, and in fall, bring them back into the plant room. So I decided that I would just set up permanent shelves in the plant room. So I put the two sets of scaffolding in here, and I built these overhead uh, shelf units up above them. So I can either store plants above here, I'd have to put more lights, or just, you know, tables and things like that. So I set up my grow lights today. These were the ones that were donated to me. They're fantastic. They're very, very bright. So there's three of those, and then there's another one here that was given to me also. So I have four lights on at the moment, and it's very, very bright in here. It's like daylight. <laughs> it's amazing. I think the plants will really like it. You can see I've moved in a lot of my tropical trees. I'm just starting that process. I've got my flood tables set up at the front windows here. So they get a lot of outdoor light, but winter is usually dark, cloudy and dark. The days are short, so it benefits from getting natural light in here, but I still need to have grow lights hung up. So I've got this Mars Hydro light from Ricardo that I'm going to be setting up. I've got the UFO lamp from Connor, and I have the ones from Ross, the ones on the arms, and they'll light up this whole front area here. So I'll be setting those lights up also. Now, I don't know if I have enough hydro to run everything at once, so I'm going to alternate days. So one day the four lights here will be on, the next day they'll be off, and I'll put the lights up front on. And I think that'll keep the plants healthy and it'll, uh, yeah, it won't drain so much hydro. It uh, might save me a bit of money. I think every other day is fine for plants to get some nice bright light on them. We'll find out anyway. From outside here, you can see how bright the lights are. It's not even dark outside yet. So I've got all my tropical and temperate trees into either the glass greenhouse or the poly house. So you can see it's full in here. The floor is full. I've got my table drying over there. All the shelves are full. Yeah, it's a full poly house. So I got the heater on in here. Keeps them warm overnight. In the backyard here, the tables are looking very, very empty. Here is a look at my temple. It's getting all kinds of cool moss and algae on it, making it look very ancient indeed. So after the Toronto show, that'll be my priority, is to get this temple planted with the ficus. That should be a really, really fun project. In the glass greenhouse, it's full but not too full. I've tried to leave a little room in here so I can get in and make a video back here. I just have to move this one ficus and I'll have my table cleared and I can walk around and film here. So yeah, it's been quite full. All the trees that were in the plant room now used to be in the glass greenhouse and the floor was just absolutely full. So now I've got a little bit of space and I can start making videos once again. So the only tables I have to move are these tables. The legs come off and then I set them up in the basement. So that'll be my temperate trees down there, Japanese maples, um, some of the ficus, they could take it, like the Natal ficus, they like a cool winter. Anything that's a little sensitive will go down there. In the poly house here, I don't heat it in the winter, so I keep all my very hardy trees in here, like larches, uh, cedars, things like that. They can take the cold of the winter as long as they're out of the wind. In the glass greenhouse for the winter, I keep all my temperate trees that are hardy below freezing. 
So things like uh, Chinese elms. Uh, what else? <laughs> uh, yeah, a lot of deciduous trees will go in here, like seedlings and things like that. I'll fill it up, I'm sure. Um, anything that's not in the poly house will go then in the glass greenhouse. So I don't leave any trees out on the benches for the winter. It's just too tough. You can get some, you know, really cold, windy days where it's like below minus 20 and it's really hard on a tree in a pot. So it's best to protect every tree if you can. In the glass greenhouse here, I have a heater and you can see the fan blowing the heat through the radiator style heater here. It's electric and I try and keep the greenhouse just slightly above freezing if I can. So in the daytime often I'll turn the heat off if it's sunny out because it warms up in here and in the nighttime I'll put the heat on and I can keep a lot of sort of temperate trees out here and they do really really well. Last year I had my plant room absolutely full. There's no space to move trees or anything. It was too full. So I did all my video work out here in the greenhouse and that seemed to work out quite well. I uh, had a few cold days out here working away. My hands were getting cold but it was tolerable. So I think I'll do the same this year. I'll uh, do all my video work out here on my bench right here. Yeah, I, uh, we had a fairly mild winter last year, so I don't know what this one will be like. I'll try and leave a space in the plant room for making videos. So on those really, really cold days, I can work indoors. It is getting dark out now, and it may be because it's raining also. So I think I have just enough time today to prune up my ficus plain. It's a ficus microcarpa that I... Uh, have removed any aerial roots. I'm trying to keep it simple and plain. And I'm styling the top of it in a very kind of flat top, very similar to my Sarissa here. Sort of that true umbrella shaped canopy. It has uh, grown okay this summer. We had a very cool summer with a lot of rain and the ficus didn't like the cool night so much. So. None of my ficus really grew with a ton of vigor this summer, but they did grow. You can see there's a lot of new growth on it. So it's quite a wide canopy and I don't mind the width, um, but I don't want the branches getting kind of long without any movement or, ta or taper. So I'm going to be doing some hard pruning on it today to take it back to a rounded canopy and taking a lot of these long kind of whippy branches pruning them back to get some taper and movement to them. All right, here I go with the pruning. So again, I'm going to follow each branch up and prune away crossing branches. So on here, I've got a branch crossing another one. I'll clean that out. Take that part of it off. I'll take this piece off the top off here. Bring this one back. Bring this one back to here. Clean up my stubs from the last time I pruned it. Basically giving the tree a good structural pruning. I could even take this part off here. I think I will. Put that back. And I could take this one back to these bottom branches here. And I think I will also I think it's getting too tall. It's kind of sweeps upwards. So there's not much taper or movement to it. So I'm going to take it right back to there. It's looking good. This one, this one kind of grows in towards the middle. I'll take that out. And I'm 
also going to take this part of it off. Just keeping this branch here. There's a tip I can remove back here. Okay, let me step back and have a look at the tree. I think it's looking quite nice, the structure of it. I do have kind of... There's two branches here that are kind of duplicating each other. I could shorten this one even more down to this branch. It would still have the double branching there. I better take it back. Even further, keeping the branch out here. I think that helps. And maybe that other branch can come off someday. This one comes forward, so I need something coming forward. So maybe this one, you know, as this strengthens up, I can take this one out. I think I'll take the top off here, that branch, and I'll shorten it a bit more. Okay. I think that's good for today. I think it should fill out over the winter and then give me more opportunities for improving the structure in the future. But I'm happy with it. I think it's ficus plain is coming along. Here is the Blue Jay Bonsai Carnage Cam. So what I took off today, some big branches, a lot of whippy, whippy ends of branches I took off. So here's a look at the structure. So you can see it's fanning out quite nicely when viewed from above. And it's keeping that kind of umbrella shape canopy. And it's coming along. It's, uh, I think it'll be a beautiful tree someday. There is only three days left now before the Toronto Bonsai Society's fall show and sale. I still don't have any fall colors on the larch. I think they need a good frost to kind of start that process. They're quite happy at this temperature. I've got both of my ficus sisters pruned up now, ficus fancy, and now ficus plain. So that is all for today. I'm Nigel Saunders. Thanks for joining me in the Bonsai Zone. <music>